What's going on guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I am back with a very big update for those of us that don't know. Uh, the jailbreak for, the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 is now out, it's released, we can all use it, um, and apparently it's working very well so far. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to get the jailbreak uh, for iOS 5.0.1 in just a second. A couple things that we have to cover first of all. Um, for one, it is a jailbreak for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and the iPad 1. I'm not sure if it works on the iPad, uh, iPod Touch 5th generation yet. Um, I don't think it does, but all that they will be coming um, for the iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and the 5th uh, generation iPod Touch. But basically right now it's for any devices with iOS 5 that don't have an A5 uh, processor. Also, if you have an iDevice with uh, a firmware that's less than iOS 5, so basically if you have like 4.2.1 or 4.3.3 or something like that, then what you want to do first is you want to uh, synchronize to iTunes, make sure that all of your notes and your music and your photos and whatever you have uh, on iTunes or on your phone or iDevice <clears throat> is synchronized to iTunes so it kind of creates a backup. That way you don't lose anything so when it does its restore or when it does the upgrade to 5.0.1 then you'll have everything, all your contacts and everything else. Um, and then secondly, what you're going to want to do is um, you don't want to keep anything from, like, let's say that you have some cracked uh, jailbreak applications, so you have some cracked applications from Cydia. Um, your upgrade to iOS 5.0.1 will not keep those. So don't bother trying to keep them. Um, if you're into cracked applications, just go ahead and reinstall them from Cydia after, or from Installus or whatever, after uh, you already uh, jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. So don't keep anything, it's going to waste space on your iDevice. So, with all that said, um, once you have upgraded to iOS 5.0.1, whether you're coming from um, an older firmware or whether you have a new iPhone 4 with iPhone, iOS 5 uh, already built in, update to I iOS 5.0.1 and you will be ready for the jailbreak, so let's get right into it. Okay, so now that we have uh, updated completely to iOS 5.0.1 and it's unjailbroken, of course, what you want to do at this point is you want to download Red Snow and I will leave the links in the description um, below on how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to just uh, click the link in the description. That'll take you to my website at jailbreakcity.com. Um, it'll take you directly to this page here that says iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak is here. So once you get down there, just scroll down as I am right here. Um, and this is just some detailed information that I already told you. So if you've already listened to this video, you don't really need to read over this. Um, but just go down to where it says, let's get started. So you can download Red Snow for Mac or for Windows, obviously. So just click whatever one you want and download. Click here to download your attachment. That will start the zip file. So it's obviously just in a zip folder. Um, and I'll get back. Well, it looks like it's going to be done in a couple seconds. And it's done. So then, as you can see here, you've got WinRAR opening up. So let's just, uh, I'm going to extract this directly to my desktop. So you can just drag it, drop it right on your desktop. And there it is. So just go ahead and open that folder and go ahead and launch uh, redsnow.exe. Um, if you are running Windows 7 or Windows Vista, then you might want to run as an administrator just for safe keep, safekeeping. Uh, so there you go. All right, so now that you've got the latest version of Red Snow running, just go ahead and click the jailbreak button. And if you have never put your iPhone into DFU mode, I'll just teach you how to do it really quickly. Um, your iPhone, you want to make sure you turn it off and plug it in. So just go ahead and plug it in first and then turn it off. So there we go. It's plugged in and we want to just uh, hold the power button on the top here until we power off. All right, so once you've got your phone powered off and plugged in, uh, you're going to click this next button on Red Snow, and it's going to kind of rush you through, so I'll kind of prepare you before you click that button. It's going to ask you to hold the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds, and then you're going to let go of the power button and continue to hold the home button, and you basically want to hold the home button all the way until it's finished completely. So not just for like 8 seconds or when it says when it starts to recognize and starts to patch a kernel. You want to continue to hold it all throughout that period. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to hold down the power button for three seconds. And then hold the home button along with it for another 10 seconds. And you'll see the Apple logo there. And then the Apple logo goes away. And then I want to let go of the home button or the power button and continue to hold the home button 
and that should take around eight seconds or so to realize that it's in DFU mode. There it goes, identifying, waiting for iPhone 4, exploding line rain, and notice I'm still holding that home button all the way through, uploading first stage, uploading second stage, waiting for a boot, and we should be almost finished with this part, identifying the build. Okay, so now it's patching the jailbreak data, or it's preparing the jailbreak data and patching the kernel. So you want to continue to hold that home button as I'm doing right here all the way through while it's uh, preparing the jailbreak data. All right, so now we're done. You can let go of the home button. You can put your iPhone down, whatever you want to do. All right, so Red Snow is giving you a couple of options here. Um, you obviously want to install Cydia. Um, you can choose to install a custom bundle. I'm not going to do that right now. And you can choose to enable multitasking gestures. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not sure how, how much that might slow down um, your operating system on iOS 5.0.1 if it's like an iPhone 4. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just click next with just the one check marked. And then it says waiting for a reboot and uploading RAM disk. This is what you should see at this point while it's updating or uploading your RAM disk. This little icon says downloading jailbreak data. Um, and then after this, you're going to have a whole bunch of like white text scrolling down your screen. Don't be afraid. Nothing's going on. It's just updating. Um, so there we go. You can see that little white data, white text going through your iPhone. And on Red Snow here, it actually says that it's done. So you can exit Red Snow at this point. And uh, this is going to continue to run until you get the little pineapple guy is what I like to call him. And there's a little pineapple guy, so this is also probably going to take a little while. So just be a bit patient with it. I'll cut this out for now and continue when it's complete. All right, so once the pineapple guy logo is gone, then you're just going to get this regular Apple logo uh, showing that you are rebooting. Everything is done on the desktop so uh, side of it. Red Snow is complete at this point, and we're just waiting on the iPhone to reboot. Um, and once you reboot and unlock, you should have a perfectly fully functioning, jailbroken, untethered, jailbroken iOS 5 um, firmware running on your iPhone 4 or whatever device you have. So just slide to unlock there. Everything seems fine and our Cydia logo is back for the first time in God knows how long. I have um, been waiting for this forever. Uh, an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. So there it is guys. Check it out. Um, if you like this video or this video helped you at all, just make sure to click that like button below. It really helps. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I will be continuing to make videos um, as long as I have iPhones or iDevices, which will probably be always. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to click the links in the uh, description below for all the other information and details and whatnot. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.